in this historic small little city in uh, central Bulgaria you'll find the only covered bridge in all the Balkans and I'm gonna check that out now Hi and welcome back to my road trip through central Bulgaria. In this Bulgaria travel video I'm exploring Lovic, one of the small historic cities in Eastern Europe that are not on major tourist maps, at least not yet. It's a beautiful small town located in central Bulgaria and is yet another amazing historic site in southeastern Europe. It's not only very beautiful but also features some of the best restaurants I have been to in Bulgaria, but more on that later. Today I'm going to take you on a travel walking tour through this great place in Bulgaria the town center and up to the impressive castle ruin. Stick around to the end for some amazing drone footage from this beautiful city and some really cool nature shots during a beautiful sunset in the city and ruins just above Lovic. Let's check it out. What I like in Bulgaria is that there is so much to see and explore everywhere. I'm going to start my walking tour in the town center which features several beautifully colored historic buildings and perhaps the most well-known attraction of Lovic, the covered bridge from 1876. I'm here at the central square of Lovet. It's a bit quiet. It's a hot day today, so that's uh, why I assume people are still indoors. But it's uh, quite a nice uh, Fenwick square with some historic uh, buildings and restaurants. The covered bridge spans the Ozam River and connects the old town of Varosha with the new part of Lovic. It reminded me a bit of the covered bridge in Florence, only that this one is in central Bulgaria and I believe it is the only such structure in the entire Balkans. Today this wooden bridge is packed with craft and art shops, cafes and souvenir stands. So this bridge uh, was constructed in 1872 to 1874 and uh, while the foundations are all made out of stone and brick, um, the upper part that houses now all the shops and workshops um, is entirely made out of wood. Let me give you a bit more details on Lovic. Lovic is located about 150 kilometers, about 93 miles, northeast from the capital city of Sofia. It's just a short drive south of Pleven, which I covered in last week's video, so check that out too if you have not done so yet. Lovic is a pretty small town with only about 36,000 residents, but it is actually one of the oldest towns in Bulgaria and a truly historic place in Eastern Europe. Traces of human activity date back to the ancient times where the Thracians settled here in the 4th and 3rd centuries BC. Later, the Balkans were occupied by the Romans, which developed a military post near the modern town. The former Roman citadel, Hisaria, which I will show you later, is situated on the hill of the same name, and was the place where in 1187 the peace treaty between the Bulgarian Empire and the Byzantine Empire was signed. This marked the beginning of the Second Bulgarian Empire, and Lovic became an important trade center and one of the most famous towns in Bulgaria.
I'm now in the alley Besh Bonar Park, south of the bridge. It's a romantic green alley that runs along the Ozan River, where I continue my walk before I cross the river again to head up the mountain to Hisar Fortress. I'm at Bajbuna now, it's a great place for a walk in the shades of the trees and heading now over the bridge back into town. This river behind me is by the way the Osam River, really beautiful. The Turkish invasion in the middle of the 14th century did not pass the town, but the Hisaria fortress was eventually captured by the Ottomans in 1446. In the 17th century, Lovic was once again an important trade center and one of the richest towns in Bulgaria. At the time it was known as Altin Lovca, which stands for Golden Lovic in Turkish. Lovic was also a center for revolutionary uprising against Ottoman rule and Vasil Levski, an important figure in the secret revolutionary committee, was arrested by the Turkish military in a village near Lovic and later hanged in Sofia. Today, a sizable museum and a big statue commemorate Vasil Levski here in Lovic. The Levski Memorial on Hezaria Hill was unveiled in 1964. With a height of 14 meters, it is the largest and most impressive monument to Vasil Levski in Bulgaria. His legacy stands under the figure on a marble slab which reads, If I win, I win for an entire nation. If I lose, I lose only myself. Let's head onwards to the fortress. It's one of Bulgaria's few remaining Ottoman citadels, which is now more in ruins of mortar and crushed limestone walls that date back to the 8th and 10th centuries. The fortress is massive and spread across a 1200 square meter site. In the summer months, many cultural events take place here. Entrance is only four laps, which is about $2.30. Let's check it out. Oh. 
All right, I'm now heading up to the Hesaria Fortress and uh, it's open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Check it out. So this fortress is really old and it's obviously more or less in ruins, although the entrance portal is still quite visible and it dates back to the 8th and 10th century, so it was in a very strategic location, just uh, overlooking the city and uh, overlooking the Uzum River. And now it's a location for some cultural events. Although right now I'm pretty much the only one up here enjoying this amazing view. Pretty much 360 degrees.
I'm making my way back down the hill, walking through the historic Warasha Quarter. Warasha stands for Old Town, built on a hill. The walk around Warasha is a bit like a labyrinth of narrow streets and cobblestone paving. It's super picturesque and beautiful. Definitely make sure to bring your camera here for some great pictures. Some of the old Ottoman style merchant houses host some cozy guest houses and excellent traditional restaurants. In fact, I had the best food on my entire Bulgaria trip here in Lovic. Definitely check out some of the amazing Bulgarian food in a truly special atmosphere. I decided to have dinner at Acevata Tavern. The food is delicious and the price is very reasonable. I love the kebabce with cheese, the lutenitsa spread with traditional wood oven baked bread and the chicken chavarma accompanied by some fresh yogurt. For more details on the best food in Bulgaria, please also check out my Bulgarian food video. With this yummy food, I'm calling it a day. I hope you enjoyed this 4K travel video of Lovec, Bulgaria, which is definitely a city to see in Eastern Europe. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please also check out my other videos on beautiful Bulgaria and many other amazing travel destinations around here in the Balkans as well as elsewhere in the world. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please also give it a thumbs up down below and leave me a comment. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next video. Bye.